welcome back to the channel i'm king of Adin, and in today's video we're back for the year actually because i haven't recorded at all this year i've recorded since like december of last year um but yeah we're back we're in minecraft it's modded uh, i put out a poll on my instagram so if you missed that you kind of missed the decision of where i'm gonna move my base to <laughs> i was playing this uh uh this world in my free time a lot and do i remember what button it is five yeah there we go so i was playing this world a lot in my free time and i was gonna do i was thinking about doing a modded minecraft thing anyways but um wanted to play the game anyways like by myself uh and i have a lot of the starting stuff already uh done uh like the basics of a lot of mods most of what i've done is mine and then build some tedious things and some basic stuff i'll go over all of that like in this video basically but the whole purpose of this is to move all of this because it's not actually that much to somewhere in the distance um what do i have here of all these chickens they all produce like a specific type so like sand is on the ground these are full right now but i didn't want to go through the process of emptying them because these are the first things that are going to get moved actually these and then my farm because i need to feed my chickens they're very valuable actually i have some that produce like diamonds so i have a bunch of diamonds from this alone so i don't have to go mining for them as often i think that was the main focus it was very tedious to try and find everything breed them because sometimes when you breed them together they don't give you the new type of chicken that they're supposed to uh and then these solar panels uh also took a very long time to build let me show you how much it took to build the solar panels actually so you got to start off with the level ones uh which is just this actually the level ones are easy to make the level twos are kind of difficult because you need eight of the level ones to make in a piston which is still pretty basic actually then you get the level threes which uh take these new ones so you need to make a bunch of these get glass and all that so now you start seeing where it like builds up also these take glass so it takes a lot of glass and a lot of iron to make and then you get up to here where a full block is needed plus this which is an upgraded version of the panel fives even more stuff so all of this was steep the tedious stuff that i was getting out of the way before i wanted to bring like put it on the channel basically at this point the level sevens i need to go into the end to do that and i stopped at that point too i know where the end portal is i have a marker over there I have a lot of markers around. I actually learned over there less. I have all these different machines that grind stuff up, which actually, because I was collecting this stuff, I need to make a pulverizer then. Because I was getting a lot of quartz just... Hang on a second. For other stuff that I need later. Also for building, because I'll be building a lot of different uh, buildings. That's a weird sentence to make. But this is a furnace a crusher which is used to make dust out of ores this is what i'm using for it like puts two things together basically uh so i'm gonna use this biomass and cobblestone hopefully i have a lot of it because i was just destroying it for a while and that'll turn it into mossy cobblestone and then i can use that for building because i like the way it looks this is an oxygen Ox no electrical separator so i'm separating water into oxygen and hydrogen for my jetpack which uses hydrogen which i do need to fill back up actually while i walk around and show these things off i have these free runners which just negate fall damage i think and helps you like step over stuff uh, i still have auto jump on though i probably should turn that off with the free runners um i also have this computer system which is not close to full yet but it's getting there and i need dirt what is that oh, okay yeah i need dirt i'm just gonna take all of it actually because i'm gonna set up this farm first also and then this is just for storage basically there's a lot you can do with this and have it like auto crafting stuff this is to grow crystals that you need to make everything here this is connected right yeah so all of this stuff is kind of connected just to the computer system. This is another version of the computer system. It's a chest. I was just looking for all my ores, uh, not ores, all my metals because they take up a lot of space and you have to make these uh, basically hard drives for them. 
and this one has a 64 in it just because I know there's going to be a lot of medals because of this thing. Hang on, let me grab my jetpack back. It's been a while since I've talked, so it actually hurts my back a little bit somehow. I don't know why. There. So now I can fly around. I don't have to worry about hitting the ground too hard. And then over here, I had a quarry. There was a bunch of stuff set up coming out of this. It wasn't simply just teleporting over there, as you can probably guess. I have a bunch of marble, which I plan to use for most of the building. And here was coal, uh, but I've burned through all of that over here with the oil refining process. These are combustion engines, which use that oil. But I'm using heavy oil here because I don't know what else it's supposed to be used for. And it burns pretty smoothly in these. It doesn't burn too hot. And it produces enough energy for what I need. But these are making gasoline, which is I'll use. I well, I guess the equivalent of gasoline, which I use later, which is what all these tanks were. And I was filling this one up, but it kept getting full, and I got tired of going super high with it. So I split it off into this, and I'll go and show off that stuff later before I get into building. But there's just a lot of stuff in these chests. Uh, these other two are mostly full, and. They used to, oh wait, no. All of this is copper, tin, uh, and some other stuff that I can use. Another system that I'll be setting up probably in the second episode because I need to get all of that refined down before I can run another quarry and get some more crystals to make more computer systems to get more stuff. Kind of a cycle there. But, oh, this is a uh, smeltery. I use this to, it doubles the amount of whatever ore you put in it. So if I put in, let's say this piece of gold, I think that melts pretty quickly. I'll come back to it in a second. There's no gold in this. This shows everything in it. That's Ardite and Manulian. They're both strong. I use Manulian for most of my, <laughs> popping my back, most of my weapons and stuff. I think it's the strongest material that's supplied by Tinker's Construct. I don't know about in the game overall, but I like using it because it's also purple. Um, I don't know how I'm going to move all of these chickens, though, because this is going to be a full process. But I don't need a lot of them. Like, bone meal chicken, I actually might keep that one just because of the bone aspect of it. But I don't need a bunch of cactus green dye. I'm not going to use all of that. I don't use green that often. Uh, yellow, I can just get some flowers for that. So overall, there's a lot of chickens that I don't need anymore. They're more useful when you're trying to get to, like, diamond chicken and lava chicken and stuff like that so uh there's that there's a loud noise that comes from changing the mode of the jetpack also um i've looked into the settings i couldn't find where to turn it down i'm not saying it's not there but i kind of missed it and go ahead and collect all of this too because this would be the first thing i move and then the chickens. I'm using a scythe, which does like grass and stuff like that in a three by three area, so it goes a little quicker. That's a lot of what Tinkers adds to, is things that function in three by three areas. So now I have this thing called an excavator, which gets dirt and anything. It's basically a three by three shovel. It's really what it is. I have a hammer, three by three pickaxe. This lumber axe, three by three axe, also cuts down trees fully. Then I have this normal axe too, just in case that breaks, because I'm going to collect a lot of wood uh, at some point also. Alright, so now we're over to what I'm going to build. I put out a pole, uh, like the first, well there's four poles, also I didn't put it out, but my social media director did. So, I'm going to be in this area, it's like a cliff side-ish area. This is the one that I was hoping got picked, but also I couldn't really decide. So if something else was picked, I would have been fine and actually done it. But this is the preferred outcome for me, at least. So I'm going to go ahead and set up this farm real quick so that can get growing. And now, if, hang on a second. There, instead of being dumb like I was before. Let me hover. There we go. I have a wand, don't I? Yeah, okay. I don't need this... Um, netherrack, so I'm not really afraid of using it. I want 3x3 three three actually. I need to get rid of this piece. This thing I'm using now is a builder's wand. It came from extra utilities. Yeah, that, that mod is actually pretty good. It adds a lot of stuff. Basically. And they all help with the game. And I think there's a few different versions of it too, I think. But this is the one that I use mostly. Plus for the version of Minecraft that I'm using. Because I'm going to 
make a whole new mod pack. This is one that I made myself. It's not a specific one because because there's a a thing that came off of Twitch. Originally it was on Twitch, but now it's Cursed Forge. What do you call it? And it lets you build your own mind uh mine, Minecraft mod packs. There we go. So now I think of five five white should be cool. Well I can do nine white. And one of the mods that I had too, there's I don't know what I was saying a second ago. I had to get up for a second. Three three four five six seven eight and then nine. There's a like an auto farming system and I looked into it and I was looking at it and then decided that it was far more difficult than what it would be worth considering I'm only doing um, wheat for the seeds for the chickens right now I'd eat berries mostly in the game because I found a bunch of berry bushes they give a bunch of berries they also grew on their own so I didn't have to worry about um, is this big? Yeah, this is pretty big. Having to cultivate them, basically. Doing it myself. They grow on their own. I can just walk up and grab them off the bush. Uh, I'll go over and show that because I do need to grab some more, I think. And does this... Hang on. So I have this cleaver, too, which does pretty good damage. Usually it one-shots, but this time it didn't. We I'm trying to get comfortable playing the game, so this doesn't work for that. So I need to go back to the base and grab. Oops, my thing. There's a thing in here, a matic, which is an axe and a shovel put together, I believe. An axe, a shovel, and a hoe put together. That's what it is. I teleport around with these um, markers just because it makes some stuff faster that I went to the wrong spot for a second. But yeah, so this is the first thing I need to set up. Then I'll go ahead and move all my chickens over. So yeah, I'm just going to till all of this and then throw the seeds down. So I'll just come back after that instead of making you watch. All right. Um, I didn't finish that thing because this matic broke in a few seconds. Camera is a process reaping tool mowing down plants and shearing animals to harvest and replant crops. This also you click to harvest and replant crops. What is this made from? What do I need for this? Uh, okay. So I'm just going to show you how the forge works essentially because on. Uh, yeah, I'll just make this from wood. I like the way blood look wood looks, but it doesn't let you craft stuff from it easily. Like I've made a bunch, and then we're trying to make a bunch of um, make a bunch of. Oh yeah, that gold that we had smelting. See, there's two in here now, but we only put on one. Um, one piece of ore. So now this is how the forge works, basically. I was just saying something, and I've already forgotten what it was. Oops. That's all I got for that. That should only take one, right? No, it took both. All right, I guess I'll throw another one in. I'm trying not to use this, because I can triple that through a different process and a different mod. Um, But, so this is how you make a cast. You put in whatever you want. You make it out of... Uh, usually wood or you can make it out of cobblestone too but the wood goes away once it's done so it makes more sense instead of a bunch of pieces that you're not going to use uh, and then you just pour gold around it and the gold stays in the form while that thing gets deleted this is blood there's blood in here too because uh, if you fall in it it burns you and leaves the blood and you can make stuff out of blood but I planted all these nice little trees around, and they're pretty cool. I like the way this one looks. I want to use the wood. It was basically woods that I liked the look of that I went and gathered the tree for. And they brought butterflies into the area, but the downside is sometimes the butterflies will fly into the forge and die. So, uh, that's a little awkward, but it happens. 
and then the gold you have to move whatever you want to use to the bottom you just pour it out over it then you whatever you have in there i use manulian because it has a high durability and i just you just cast it into these things you take them over to the forge and apply them to what you want and after you, the good thing about this mod is why i put it in any mod pack that i ever make because i was also making them on twitch just for fun for myself but the good thing about it is that you can upgrade tools um to be whatever you want i need to fix this before i do that uh cobblestone is in here but yeah i was this oops I have this trash can down here that I was filtering cobblestone and a bunch of other stuff like sand and dirt into. That way I didn't have a huge supply of those and nothing else. Because that's what would have happened if I didn't put in that filter with the trash can. And that trash can comes from extra utilities also. So something else useful about that mod. Yeah, so that's how this works. You can add modifications to these things that make them faster, more lucky, things like that. On these ones, I have haste, which comes from redstone when you apply it to them. Luck is from lapis lazuli. I don't know how to say that last word. Lazuli, I've heard it pronounced a few different ways. Quartz makes them sharper, doing more damage, which is what's on my sword. And yeah, all right. So I'll finish tilling this. All right, so this is as far as I could get and uh like what is it called i don't know putting down the seeds so they can grow basically i don't remember what the word is it's not till because that's when you make it available for stuff to be put in and grow or whatever so that's all going now so the next thing i need to do is move my chickens over uh, and at first hang on let me go back to the base at first i had all these chickens in here because you need to make bone white chickens and i thought you needed to do that for every type of chicken like or at least every dyed chicken so there's like a purple one in there, which I need to make more of actually, because I'll probably use purple a lot more than any of these other colors. Um, not all of the colors will be gone, but a decent amount of them will be. I need to get my fence out too. Uh, yeah, again, I had to cheat these in, which I'll probably, I did cheat in a few things, I think. Uh, I made the house because I made a world, but I had to take out one of the mods. So I made the house and the quarry and all of those chests in a different world at a point. Um, but then I had to switch it over because one of the mods I had was making it impossible to find cobblestone, which you need, which you actually need for some recipes like stone. Uh, and that mod just didn't work well with things like that. So I had to get rid of it. Oh, they also have this, this ultimate energy cube too, which is just a battery basically. And then this is a, a acceptor for, oops. For this battery, which then powers everything else over here. Uh, I think that's everything. Most of the stuff, at least. There's also this oil system, which I need to change around too. Maybe I'll get to that in this episode. I'm only like 19 minutes in. I probably do. These will probably be longer episodes. Probably 40 minutes total. Um, I don't want to be hugely long, but I'm also pausing. I'm cutting out stuff, so maybe it doesn't need to be that long. But the next thing I need to do is move all these chickens around. So these things right here collect everything that the chickens um, produce. And I have, actually, let me find it. I think it's in here. It's called a golden, yeah, a golden lasso, which is used to just pick up mobs and put them wherever you want to. Uh, I'll probably make a big bin. Uh, these things collect in a nine by nine radius. I'll check actually. At, chicken Ooh, spelled chicken wrong already these will collect will automatically collect items from chickens in a nine by nine radius when provided with hay bales um yeah so i'll probably make one big pin and just set these up like eight blocks apart just to be sure i'm not having dead zones because i have one two should I just make new ones of these? What is this one made out of? Spruce? The spruce tree's over there, so I'm probably going to take those and use them. Starting. Oops. Teleported to the wrong one. I need to get rid of some of these because I don't use them as much. Uh, let me go ahead and get this out the way, too. So this is where all the oil that I'm processing comes from, and it goes into these ender tanks. You use these a lot. They're pretty. They're actually a really good mod to have for industrial-type things, which is really what I'm trying to do here because that's the reason why I started watching Minecraft so much is the mods that made them look... Or made them more industrial so this pump is collecting oil from this well that goes all the way down to here i'm trying not to fall into it because it's really thick you get stuck in it so i've been mining it out here 
most of what I want to do was like I wanted to do it all in the green energy type way, but um that quarry consumes energy so fast and this is the greenest way to do it is to collect oil, refine it into uh gas and then use it that way, gasoline and use it that way. Because otherwise it's using coal, which is more like in real life is a dirty fuel, like dirtier than oil at least, and was more was less fuel efficient. Um, so yeah, there's that. All right, nope, wrong button. All right, so now I want to go back over to new potential area. I had this marked as new potential area because originally it wasn't something I was gonna do, but then I was just running around because I was bored in Minecraft. So I just ran around and ran into this area because again, as you can see, there's no um, markers. All the markers are over there, so I decided to go in this direction to see what I could find found this little spot which turns out to be the new base area which is why it says potential but the other place was called like flowers and flowers snow and i think that's it oh the other place is like across the river from where the current base is so yeah and this is why i made this axe is because it just cuts you just have to cut the bottom of the tree don't have to worry about any of the leaves or anything they go away on their own later I kind of wanted to use this to build, but I think it would be easier to use this for the farm since it's already a wide open flat area. So, um, I need to make those things first, actually. So I'm going to do that. Where's my scythe? Use the scythe to cut some of these down just so I can make sure I get some spruce saplings and then replant instead of just clear cutting and leaving. All right, what am I looking for? I need to make that dark, this, which means I need hay bales. Go over one more. How many of these do I want? I want nine of these total. Uh, do I have any? I do have a bunch. I didn't put these in because, again, I was trying to move. This whole thing, there's not, there's ones that don't have this uh, building interface. So, this is something that costs a little more to do, but it's definitely better than just the normal setup because of how it pulls from the inventory in there. Can be dangerous though, because you can actually use up accidentally use up all of your all of one resource but i'm gonna go lay these down and then lay down the um the fences too so i'll just bring you back when i'm done with that all right realized i was hungry as soon as i went to pause the game so i need to actually grab food so i can sprint around again so these are the bears that i was talking about uh just walk up and take off a bunch there's probably some in a chest somewhere that i've forgotten about from clearing my inventory and not paying attention to where stuff went and they don't fill up a lot of hunger but since you i can get so many off of just these it's fine and when i collected them i collected all of the base ones and then they grow up three blocks two blocks so i get a lot back for little uh work basically and now I can actually go and do what I said I was going to do a second ago. Now that I've actually finished this, I'm going to move my chickens over and stop probably violating some sort of animal rights law by having them all cooped up in that smut coop. Coop. Chickens live in coops. Chicken coops. Anyways, uh, stop having them all cooped up in that small little area uh, and let them spread out some and uh walk around and live at least the ones that i'm gonna keep can live the rest i'm probably gonna cook into chickens is chicken stew in the game is that chicken meals chicken got chicken jerky there's a lot of chicken stuff i can make a bike out of them chicken hmm surprisingly little stuff Probably turn them into chicken jerky, actually. It's pretty... Sounds pretty good. Alright. But yeah, I'll just move... Go ahead and move them over into this thing. I'm keeping the diamond... Actually, let me go and talk about which ones I'm going to keep for sure. 
because that's a little bit easier. Oh, uh, ooh, well, my computer loaded. All right, there we go. So I'm keeping the clay chickens because they go into a lot of what makes the solar panels. Uh, lava chicken, water chicken, that's thing for sure, because they essentially make buckets of lava and water for free, and I need lava to run that uh, smeltery. Yeah, that's what it's called. Oof, took me a second, blanked. Ender pearls are just a resource that you should always have on hand just in case. Then that blaze rot chickens, those are pretty hard to come by because you have to go into the nether, fight blaze and all types of stuff like that. This ender chicken, which I've only got one of because it was taking forever to actually get one. Um, where did these seeds come from? Oh, I have a whole extra stack that I missed. That or I got them when I was clearing area for this. Anyways, uh, let's try and breed them, actually. Give me an emerald chicken. It's funny how they make stuff look like how they're supposed to. So these look like ore because there's really nothing else in the game. But these look like uh, villages because that is the best way to get... Um, to get in, 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 in emeralds. Yeah, um, I'll probably keep the black chicken, the purple chicken. Uh, I'm gonna keep the brown one because it gives cocoa with me, not brown dye. Glowstone chicken stays for sure. Uh, iron chicken, gold chicken, or gold iron had them switched. I might keep the bone white chicken or a different block you can make. Um, red stays. I don't know about, I'm uh, not red, blue stays. I don't know about red. I don't know about snowball either because honestly they just they keep filling up these things and I don't I have no use for a snowball I don't know where I'm going to use them at glass chickens because those go into the solar panels also the glass chicken is probably the most disturbing one because of how blank it is also the soul stand chicken because it has no beak I don't know why it doesn't have a beak or a face it's very strange can't really figure that one out personally um there's a quartz chicken in here somewhere that I can't find. Uh, but it'll probably come up while I'm moving them. My original idea was to put them in little 4x4 four four cases and just have like, and have one of these hovering above them to collect from those different ones and then have them spread out to where each 4x4 four four had one hen house dedicated to it. But that's um, a little bit more difficult and more, and again, I don't want to have them on small areas. I, I do want to get them onto grass though because chickens on gravel for their entire lives it just doesn't sound right to me either uh but again i'm gonna go ahead and move them over and then bring oh cold chickens too those are a good one i thought i was gonna use these little sterling is that what these ones are called yeah the sterling engines for a long time because of how complicated i thought this process was it turns out it's not that bad and these cold things are far more difficult to use because as you can see this is empty and not running uh so i'll probably set something up with these also uh, I'll probably do that in this episode too because that's something else that would need to be moved. The only downside is moving all of that is going to take some time. So I'll probably actually leave this here and then um, just reorganize all of this and use this as the oil section of my base because I don't need to see this all the time. I have these chunk loaders. I have one hidden in here that way uh, it doesn't get messed up to keep the chunk loaded. I don't know if there's actually doing much but essentially it's to keep an area loaded so that it's always doing whatever's happening on there. So there's a chunk loader by the oil thing to make sure that oil is always getting pumped into this area. And then this one was here to make sure that the core was always going and that the oil was always being refined. And the chickens were always going too because, again, all these diamonds and stuff came from those chickens. But I'm going to probably just going to dump all this in here, actually, because that's the easy way to do it. And then come back to it. Need those seeds. Though. Actually, do I have any seeds in here? Yeah, I didn't have any reason to not finish planting everything down. There's something else in here, too, that I was wanting to grab. Seeds of oh, berry. Yeah, I do have a bunch of these in here. And then I have more blueberry bushes, too. So I could throw those down over here, but I don't know if they come back up. So I don't want to put those down, actually. I also probably don't need all these berries because I haven't been getting hit. So I haven't been needing to use them. Now, what was I doing? I need the lasso. Yeah, but I'll bring you guys back when I'm done moving them because I only have one lasso. I might make a few more, actually. I probably should make a few more so it goes faster. Golden lasso. There it is. Can I just make these straight up? Why isn't it going? 
An eight experience. I have eight experience. All right, let me take this string and stuff out. I'm actually gonna figure this out. So I can make a few of them. And then nugget. The only downside to the gold chicken is that they push out nuggets, which actually makes sense. I guess since it functions uh, assuming that this is the only mod that you're adding gold there's no iron nuggets normally in minecraft at least at this point in minecraft but there are normally gold nuggets so that makes more sense for them to poop uh poop lay oops did not mean to put all that in there move all of this out the way move all of this in the only thing that should keep with me is this in case i have to uh put down some of the chickens because i'm definitely not taking them there's no point in leaving them to run around because that's just pointless basically but yeah all the diamond chickens go first and then i'll just keep moving down the list uh i should probably put hay in those other ones before i do anything actually that way stuff is being picked up immediately and then I'll throw down these seeds also and then come back let me grab do i have any more dirt in here too because if i can't expand that thing i will yeah all right so moving chickens expanding the farm and putting in the hay and i'll bring you all right back um all right so i was in the middle of you know moving my chickens right and i've been teleporting back and forth a lot lately and i just noticed that there's a lot of skeleton horses in the oh i unpaused i started the recording back for that but yeah there's just a bunch of these around i guess it's, i assume it's from teleporting a bunch i don't have any ranged weapons so this is kind of difficult especially since they're in the water but I know that once they come out, it's kind of over for them. Um, yeah, okay, that works too. They start finding each other. I'll just watch them do that. Hopefully I can get one of their bows, because uh, that would be nice. Oh, that one killed the other. Interesting. Thought it was going to go the other way first. Uh, yeah, I did get one of their bows. Let me try and pick that up. Snowballs, see, this is what I mean. I got snowballs that I don't want. Uh, red dye I don't want power one that's pretty good sand i don't necessarily need the sand that's uh get out of here you're not important right now i do want to keep one of these skeleton horses though so i'm gonna go ahead and grab the oh go ahead and grab that real quick and let's see if i can get this thing without it killing me i don't think they will be able to kill me i have some pretty good armor on too uh dark steel there's upgrades for it i think but i also don't know how to do them so it's kind of useless for me to say that um are the rest of these going to get struck by lightning when i approach too i mean it would make sense because i have been teleporting back and forth a lot uh probably at this point to an abusive manner but let's see hopefully only one gets struck when i walk near them yeah okay yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, uh, maybe this will be the episode that I'll make a ranged weapon to deal with all of these. Because I'm not gonna try and float around. Maybe, like, if I can stand on this, but even then, they'll just hit me once and, uh. I mean, it worked out that they killed each other, but still, uh. Yeah, this, that's gonna be an issue that I'm going to to handle in a second once i finish moving these chickens i'm gonna make a ranged weapon and I, that's probably where i'm gonna end it though because i do need to get up and do stuff i've been sitting here i had a and um a little meeting to go to for extra credit for one of my classes so uh i did that so i've been sitting here longer than i've been sitting in the same chair longer than i generally usually do i really don't sit here that long but i sat here for one of my classes because i had the meeting right afterwards i didn't want to be stuck on campus till four because i don't i don't stay there that long usually oh i didn't even think about if there were going to be um those things over here and i guess for now i can just put the actually uh hmm. oh you, you uh, 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 okay.
Oh, okay, never mind. Tame? Can I just... Um, okay. I'm just gonna put him back. Nah, because I need this thing. How do I get off? Left shift? Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna leave that there and see how it goes, I guess. If it doesn't die or anything, then it'll be fine. Hopefully it doesn't turn back into a spawn for all those other things. Do I need it? Is that a gravel? No, it's a flint chicken. I have one of those. One of the snowball chickens got out. That's fine. I didn't care for it. Why is there a dead chicken in here? I didn't think I just killed a chicken in here. Why are these off? Hello? Why is the pump down there? Is this full? Yeah, see, this has been the, the limiting factor uh, in making this. Uh, do I have any extra tanks? I don't. So do I have glass? I might, because I spelled that wrong. Yeah, I do. Use this glass for when I build my house. Uh, it's just super clear, basically. And it comes back to you once you break it. Uh, ooh, I'm trying to do something dangerous right now. Put that in there. So you can shift and click on these things and it'll make a bunch of them at once. The dangerous thing about doing it with, um, with, uh, inside the computer is that it'll, you, it'll pull from the computer's inventory and not your own, which means that you can accidentally just use all of one of your resources. I'm going to start a new one instead of trying to continue to fly all the way up there to place them down. And this should get things going again. Yeah, this should fill up pretty fast. I think 12 buckets fit in these these things. I think 8 maybe fit in these ones. I can't really tell. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, so 8 fit in those. And I don't know how many fit inside. Probably 2 or 3 fit inside of the um refinery itself. But now it's going super fast because it had some stored energy. So probably still got some pushed into it. They don't go that fast. That oops, forgot I left that open. They don't really go that fast actually. Um, they're usually way slower. Th that'll come back to its normal speed in a second. That's probably because these things have yeah an extra amount of power built up from just sitting on but not actually being able to take it anywhere. Um, so yeah, I guess this is its optimal rate though. It can turn red and go, but I don't know if that makes a difference. Oh, I also need to get rid of all of these chickens because they actually haven't been useful for a very long time. And I don't even know how there got to be so many. All right, what else did I say I was going to do? I was going to fix this, actually, and make this a little more, uh, what you call it? Make more sense to do the gasoline setup. Did I unpause it? I did unpause it. There it is. And then I need the. Ooh, did I hit two buttons at once? I did. And. Books. I probably have more stuff. Probably have more stuff in there to actually make it than I thought I did at first. Does this hold books? Like, do I have to always bring them? No, okay. So, disenchant. Extract power. Yep. And then I can just get rid of that. There's a helmet in here. Do I want respiration or fire protection? I don't know even why I'm getting these though, because I don't think can I get both? Oops. Oh, I can I can't get both. Okay, cool. Extract. It requires five levels to extract. What happens on my levels? I thought I had like forty seven. I don't know. Maybe I did something to use them all up. Oh well. Sit down these skulls. I also have these uh, ender in, enderman heads from, again, from using my sword. Uh, usually they have a very low drop weight, but you can see I have a bunch of them from doing all of that. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, I'll probably use those to decorate stuff later. But uh, all the chickens are moved. So the only thing left to do is clear my inventory again. Uh, just wipe it all the way. And can I search my mod in here? 
I know there's a way to make this I almost pointed in real life like a dumbass. Uh, this uh, right here go all the way up to here, but I don't know how to do that yet. And I can't remember which setting it was. Cause I did have it set at some point, but that was like a year ago. That, then the hammer, then the shovel, then the axe, and the other axe, and this, and the scythe. There's a chisel in here too. That's gonna come into play more later, but it makes you, it lets you customize what your blocks look like basically. And berry. All right. All right, cool. Uh, this is the first thing to break. I heard it go. I just have to wait a second. Oh, this is going to be a whole issue, actually. Let me make a few extra tanks. And I'm going to make those from glass. Because when you break stuff from this mod, they don't just, um, they don't just, de like, destroy what's inside of them. They will, oof, ran out of power there for a second. They will uh, drop them in fragments, uh, like you see right here. So a fragile oil crystal, which is cool and all until you're trying to redo stuff and then you're stuck with a bunch of fragile pieces of things. Whole process. All right. So now what I need to set up, I'll probably do it back here actually. <laughs> Yeah, hang on. Let me clear this whole area out. And I'm going to do it right in this spot. Oof. Did not know it was a 3x3x3. A three by three by three. Um, guess I'm going to do this to the eggs real quick. Try and stick to only this area so I don't get rid of stuff that I actually need. Oof. Did not realize that. If I know that, I would not have used this for that. Because now it's a, it's a lot of stuff on the ground. Uh, I guess it's safe to take out these things now, though, so... Yeah, I guess you gotta watch with tools. That's the that's the only kind of downside. Like you can't just make all of the the advanced tools because stuff like that will happen far more often. Um, where you're just taking out huge chunks of things when you only wanted to get one block. Like if I only wanted to get that corner block, but only at the excavator, I'm taking all three out. All right, let's see here. Do I have everything? Got to get rid of more eggs. So now, I can throw this back in here. I'll probably need that at some point later. Are there st all those things still over there? No, okay, those other ones left. So it's just the horses that are still here. So I didn't need to go through that whole process of figuring out and making which one of Hang on a second. I still have a bunch of eggs. Going through the process of figuring out which um, ranged weapon I wanted to use. Ooh. Okay, cool. That's fine, actually. I thought I just almost threw my, uh, what you call it? I wonder if any of those turned into chickens, actually. Maybe a few did. Well, if, they, if there were, then they would have came back up. All right, so this area right here is going to be set up for that. Let me get these refineries back out. Hopefully, I don't actually have some extra ones sitting in here. Uh, they're not refinery, they're distillers. I do have four distillers. Five of these. Five. I had two going to one. Uh, four, six, eight. I'm definitely, oh wait, I can, nah, I don't need eight per though, or do I? I'll do, well, I want more. Six, yeah, we'll, we'll just do six and we'll do it like this, okay. So now I need, I need, is this, I need my brown one, 
okay so brown so this is going to be the one that pumps in hang on i have a wooden okay so i'm going to use this one as the one that pumps in all of the sludge for these okay okay i need to get wooden We'll just take both of these because I'm going to need a few. And this is what they're going to be at. So I'm going to take one, two, three, four, five. That's all that's going to fit in this area. So I guess I'm just going to use five of them. Six. I'll use six of them. I don't want to get too close to the tanks because if I do that, um, I might have a problem with the fluids connecting. And right now I'm not trying to deal with a whole bunch of uh, pipe. Uh, what's the word? Pipe. Mm. Oops, that's not how that's supposed to face at all. Pipe organization. Yeah, that's the word. Hello? You, okay. And this is the other thing. They automatically choose where they want to face. And I want them to face... I want them to face these things and connect. You see how they latched on, basically. Uh, I want to move this back one, then. Give me my pickaxe. There it is. Damn, this process is going to take a little bit longer than I thought it would. But at least I have an accurate thought of how long the video is going to be. About 58 minutes. There's some other stuff that I'm probably going to cut out. But for the most part, it's going to be as long as it is. Okay, so now I need these to go behind all of this. Two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, see if I had one more right here, it would have connected to that. Although, that might actually be a little better in this case. Instead of wasting the... Um, the ender tank. But this keeps them separated better because I do want a storage of them, of this stuff, the sludge. But only I'm only using it for this, so it doesn't make sense for that to happen. So I'm going to do it this way, actually, and change some stuff around. But I still have all the excess flows into that, but this is, this is how I'm going to do this one. And I need a lever now. There we go. And that's gonna start filling these all up with the sludge. And now I need more dirt in the water one. And get this part going right here, which is gonna be the water. The water is the coolant for these things. Uh, there should be enough, there should be more than enough actually coming out. I have a, a, a different mods pump because it's more efficient and faster uh, over there it's also powered by solar which is better overall meets the goals that I'm trying to set for this I think I can add upgrades to it also to make it go faster and be more even more energy efficient but I don't need that right now or I mean I do but I don't you know what I mean and I need to grab more of these this whole process Hopefully I don't have to end up making more of these too. Six. But yeah, if there were one more over, I would have had some issues and hit that thing. So now it should automatically go out. Okay. So now that's that. I'll move this and this. Break. You got it. All right, cool. And is this going to hit that? Okay, cool. I'll move these to this side real quick to make more space for that for the oil stuff I didn't even think about if that was going to hold its um, storage or not it probably should have but it all worked out so it doesn't matter and now this is going to hold its stuff so I don't have to worry about that um, need to bring these all together I think I have some more of these in here so yeah okay Bring all of this together and split it off 
do I need to do that? I probably could just put them all back, or like not back to back to back, but just. I'll do it like this. Okay. And now before I do anything else, let me see if I have stuff in my inventory to fill it so only that last little spot is open. I do, so. Go ahead and break this. All of those should hit the ground and now I can just sit here and fill that up and then this one up with all the excess oil that's sitting right here that we don't have to wait for the pump to catch up yeah I have some more over here I'll do that later though so at the bottom I want the okay All right, so at the bottom, I want the sludge to come. And I'm probably gonna need some more redstone pumps for this too. So at the bottom is gonna be, I'm calling it sludge, it's called heavy oil. And more of these, more levers. Okay. Hopefully they all face the way they're supposed to, or at least that I want them to. Nope. Okay, but they like facing that one direction, so I'll do it like that instead then. So that's one, two, three, four. And that's gonna come down into this tank right yeah are these full yet too i need them to be full of water before anything else and i might want to add a pump to this too i'm just calling them pumps they're called redstone engines but I just call them pumps because that's essentially all they are they put out so little power and they <laughs> don't overheat themselves essentially just increase how fast they function so Oh, this doesn't leave space for that in a second. Hmm. Now it's like I'm forward and down, which I can do. Oh, to organize stuff. That last one, oh, it doesn't make sense to run it to its own thing. Three, four. All right, so now that's all set up to pump out the sludge. And I gotta pump out the stuff that I actually want. And that's going to be done in a similar manner, just coming out the top, just because it's really just based on where the tank, where the distillery, I don't still don't know why it's called that, holds it. And I need more of these. hovering around slowly should have some in here right yeah okay i'm pulling from what's supposed to be the supply for the quarry but it's going to be a while so that's so i start running that again so this doesn't actually matter and put that there and i need white yellow white hopefully i didn't get rid of one of the tanks on accident that would be annoying uh, it might be over here. Brown, brown, brown. That. Oh. Why is this white, 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 though? I don't think I used that color. Or that set of colors. I guess this would be the good time to having all of these chicken. Only I can't take a small amount out. I have to pull the whole stack because it wouldn't let me take the one. So never mind. I'm taking that back. I was just going to compliment the rest of those chickens. Uh, that's what that was for. That's to pull out the oil. 
But the oil is the last thing that I'm trying to add to this system. So, yellow, yellow, right? Yellow, 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 okay. And now, I might need to do that, actually. At build craft. Hmm. Pipe wire. So these should allow me to. Oh, it's a whole process to make these fluid pipes. I could just use a different colored fluid pipe. Iron fluid pipe, valve pipe, insertion pipe. Okay. Fluid pipe. So I have wood. I have stone. I could use stone. I know the gold just moves more at a time. Quartz. I might use quartz actually. Clay. Valve. Only connects to other pipes. Okay. Not doing that. Destroys. Sorts. Wooden diamond pipe. How do I make this? Need. How many of these would I need? Such a waste of diamonds, but oh well. One, two, three. Well, it's f yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. I'm probably gonna make these ones. Well, not even probably. I am finna make them right now. And then these ones specifically. All right. Cool. Now let's hope these don't connect because otherwise it's going to be a whole new issue. And it is. They do connect. So, first time cheating on camera. I'm just going to pull in those things. Shift that. Crap. Just going to pull these in real quick. But damn, I don't need these anymore. Like, that makes these completely obsolete. So, we'll make the trade then, basically. Usually, you cheat in this. You just cheat mode on and you just pull out of this whole inventory at that point so I'll just take 16 of these so now uh All right, I know I'm gonna fix this. Oh, give me a second. I'm just gonna finish setting this up real quick. All right, I'm back. So all I had to do was like clear out space behind it and then redirect those pipes downward to take these ones straight across. Now I need actually white dye because I found the other chest, not uh, chest, uh, tank that I was looking for. I don't need these anymore. And let me go ahead and um turn this off before I accidentally delete something else that I do need can I just can I do it like this and get it no okay so I can place it and then just gotta look at these little bits white white actually I'm running out of time to record so gotta finish this up kind of quick now and this is going to be how the oil goes in. I don't know why I chose all white for oil. I think it was just because it was the first tank that I made. And didn't change what it did. Okay. And then output. So now all of these are going to be filled. Fill those up. That's an input. Because the blue is on top. Input. Red is on top. Output. Input there. These should be about full now. I need to set up one of these. just so Because these are going to... Uh, not burn through water, but slowly they're going to move through it. It basically turns into steam in air quotes. You don't see it, but it, that's essentially what the logic is behind it. Uh, so that's full. Now I just need a bunch of levers to turn these on, which I'll make this little tunnel for. Let's see if this is too close. It absolutely was. I don't know why I didn't just decide to use the normal shovel. So they're doing that. 
but that does mean I can do this and have this work as essentially just a backing to the whole system. Uh, I don't even know why I'm doing all this. I barely use the gasoline. I'm making this process far more robust than it needs to be. But, uh, might as well, right? So that goes there. That one goes there. Did I restart this? Okay, cool. I keep pausing the recording, and I'm not going to be the guy who pauses his recordings to save time just to end up pausing his recording to lose most of, not even most of, but a good portion of his video. All right, so now this should all be going. Pushing power and the sludge is being taken out into here. All right, this one's going faster because it didn't get turned off in that time period. These things cool down pretty quickly. Uh, um, yeah, and the overtime residue will build up. I just, you just take that out in a bucket. I could pump that out, but I'm probably not going to. I'll probably just walk up with buckets and take it out. And I'll probably just get rid of it because it's only used to make the waterproofing. At least that's the only use that I've found for it is using it for the waterproofing. Um, but yeah, that's this process that I didn't think was going to take as long as it did. Although I think it only took like 20 minutes your time, but it took like 30 minutes mine, 30 or 40 so the sludge goes into there gets pushed back over to here as you can see it's coming out and going into these tanks but from the big tank it's being pumped right out immediately into those to repower the system so it's kind of an endless loop on itself these don't have pumps to take out the stuff good thing i stopped and looked over everything because that's just going to stop the system in like half a second I have one redstone agent. I need two, I need one, two, three, four more. Ugh, okay, so I need more pistons. Eight, nine, ten. This is my ten. And then I need A bunch of those uh way way more than i need actually i'm gonna need extra redstone engines so i might as well make as many as it lets me yep which is gonna be 10 because that's how many witcher collets i've made and now there's this it's funny too this is whole process is only to get the gasoline and it's the thing that i forgot to pump out so it doesn't even make sense but that's going to be all for this video don't forget to follow twitch instagram uh and twitter all that stuff those will be in the comments down below and all that and that's it i only meant to record for like 40 minutes but i think it's been almost two hours a little over but now I'm going to go study for a test that I have in uh, 40 minutes at this point. So, yeah, I'll clean all this up off camera and make the ground look a little nicer. And then set up that stuff with the chickens where I pipe out the stuff that it gives. I need to move or make another one of these um, these things to go over there so the chickens don't despawn. I, though I don't think they will. And yeah, that's all. I'll see you next time, I guess.